Rock, nigga, fuck your release day. Been had them shoes some months ago before you put on them J. The bass is much more balanced, much stronger, it hits tighter. The highs are very clean, and you can also hear the mids more. What's up guys, it's Eric from B-Side. Today we have here the PA2T1 micro amplifier plug and play kit for Toyota vehicles. And we have here the Toyota Tundra. We're gonna be installing this kit for you. We'll show you how easy it is to install. We're also gonna do a quick demonstration. So let me get in the vehicle and get started. All right guys, so now that we're in the vehicle, the first thing we're gonna do is remove the shift knob. This is the easiest part of the install. All you have to do is just turn counterclockwise. Like that. All right, go ahead and set it aside in a safe location so they don't scratch it or damage it. The second part you're gonna remove, we're gonna remove this piece over here. And to do that, you wanna use a panel removal tool. This one over here. I'm gonna go ahead and just pry this piece out. It's just being held by clips. Okay. And we're gonna go ahead and pull this out like so. And go ahead and set this aside, safe location. And then next, go ahead and raise the armrest. And then we're gonna go ahead and pull the rest out. So you can just go ahead and grab this and just pull up. This and it comes off as one piece. All right, next, remove this piece here. You're gonna need a panel removal tool that has a little curve like this. That will help. Okay, there it is. And then we're gonna go ahead and unplug these connectors behind here. So we could put this aside. Just press down on the release tab and then pull. Never pull on the wires, always pull on the connector. If you pull on the wires, the wires might come off and you'll be in a very bad situation because it'll be very difficult to fix that. And next, we're gonna remove this climate control here. Just put your hand back here, pop it forward. And then just disconnect this cable here. Once again, just press down the release tab and pull. Very easy. And once you pull that out, you're gonna find that it's four 10 millimeter bolts. One's very deep. Um, you're gonna need a deep socket. And then two are on the outside here. So deep, shallow, shallow, deep. Go inside. All right. Go, make sure you don't lose the bolts. Gonna go deep on the other side as well. Go ahead and remove the shallow ones. Okay, once you remove that, go ahead and lay a thick towel, especially around your shift knob. You don't want it to scratch that. And pull it out. When you're pulling it out, these brackets here are very sharp. Make sure you don't make any contact between this bracket and any of your interior parts because you will leave a scratch if you do so. So let's go ahead, grab two hands, pull it out like so. And then I'm gonna set it aside at the front like this. And then there's a little clip that was left behind. This might happen to you. Go ahead and grab it. And all you have to do is just push it back into its location. There's another one on the left side that fell off. So push it like so. So once you have this removed, go ahead and grab the product, the PA2T1. Go ahead and open this. Let me show you what's inside here. So we got the micro power amplifier. We also have our plug and play harness. These are using factory constructed connectors, so very high quality. It's a little wire tie. So I'll go ahead and undo this. this side here. And before we put it in, let's go ahead and set our game over here to max. So you could grab a little, um, you could use your finger now, or you could grab a little flathead and turn it. And, and then this is already at maximum, which we would want it. Then I'm gonna grab our plug and play harness. And our plug and play harness here, there is this yellow cable here. This is for your battery. And we have it like this, just in case if you wanna connect it directly to your battery. But it's not necessary, so we're gonna go ahead and just push it in together make sure you feel the click okay when you push this in to make sure it has good contact right. okay next we are going to locate the two connectors that we're going to be connecting on one is going to be bottom here and the other one is going to be right next to it down there 
So to get better access to these connectors, I'm gonna just disconnect this one and okay? make sure you don't forget to reconnect it afterwards. And we're gonna go ahead and disconnect this. This is for power. Okay, always push down on the release tab and pull on the connector, never pull on the wires. Right. And then we're gonna disconnect this one right next to it. So speaker wires, okay. And then we're gonna have matching connectors, basically connect what was connected to the radio to our harness, and then our harness to the radio. Okay, like so. All right. And then we're gonna do that for the speaker wires as well. So we have these speaker wires. Okay, it's this one right here. This one right here, this is the connector. And go ahead and plug it like so. And then I'm going to connect our harness into the radio, like that, okay? And then all we have to do is ground this. We're going to ground this on the side right here. So grab an 8 millimeter or Phillips screwdriver. Let's grab a Phillips screwdriver and do this. And we're going to ground this this make sure the contact is really good okay right. then now what is left is connecting these to our to the amplifier like that and like that then let's go ahead and see if we can find enough room behind the radio to be able to mount this for this tundra this doesn't have jbl i could already feel on the right side of this dash behind this area over here there's a lot of room go ahead and do a quick test fit all right and then because there's a lot of room it might also move around so you would want to mount it so that it won't move or else it's going to be banging onto things back there. Alright guys, so we went ahead and mounted to the left side instead of the right side. So originally we were trying to mount it to this side. There was just a lot of room but there's no flat, good flat surface where we could mount it. But on the left here, we went ahead and mounted there with some double sided tape. Um, make sure you use a lot of them so it doesn't fall off or doesn't come off of that. So we did that, checked it, it's really secure in there, so it's a good place to do it. And then we're going to go ahead and mount the radio back. Okay. okay, and when you're pushing it back, just organize the wire, look under the radio, look to the side, make sure you're not going to pinch any wires or cables. And then just go ahead and push it back in. So, okay, go ahead and reverse order everything you just did. And if you like, this will be the time to test to make sure there is sound. All right, perfect. Cool. As long as there is sound, that means working. Well, that's it. Now let's go ahead, turn the car, and let's check out some music. Gotta get my day yeah. Sounds so amazing, guys. This sound system sounds better than the factory equipped JBL sound. We can go ahead and um, try a different music. The bass is much more balanced, much stronger, it hits tighter. The highs are very clean and the mids are, and you can also hear the mids more. Um, it's much more powerful and you can actually hear the words that that's coming out of these artists. Um, let's try some techno music too. Alright guys, this upgrade 
here is probably one of the most least expensive underrated upgrade you could do to your Toyota vehicles it's super easy to install I probably installed it right now in less than 30 minutes and the whole entire sound system has made a dramatic change you don't have to replace your factory speakers or anything all you have to do is add this micro power amplifier which installs behind your radio super easy to install I recommend you guys give this a try you will be very very satisfied well that concludes our installation and demonstration video on our PA2 T1 on this Toyota Tundra. If you have any questions, drop a line below or you can email us at info at beatsonicusa.com. Don't forget the USA. And if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe and like this video. Thank you very much for watching.